Hey, Cowboys Nation, y'all ready for some sizzling updates? Buckle up, because this offseason's been a wild ride. Picture this. DeMarvian Overshone, our promising linebacker, packing on 15 pounds of pure muscle during rehab. He's looking meaner and more ready than ever. Then there's Maisie Smith, our nose tackle, determined to shake off that bust label by bulking up again. But wait, that's not all. The buzz surrounding Trey Lance's departure is hotter than the Texan summer, with Coach McCarthy hinting that he has big plans. And with Dak Prescott's extension looming, the drama's just getting started. Stick around, because you won't want to miss this deep dive into Cowboys territory. Well, y'all, it's been a good couple months since Dan Quinn packed his bags and took the reins as the commander's head coach. Down here in Dallas, we brought in seasoned pro Mike Zimmer to fill his boots. Ever since we scooped up Zimmer back in February, his mark on the Cowboys is clear as day. Right off the bat in free agency, he went and convinced his old defensive captain from the Vikings, Eric Kendricks, to join the squad. Then came the 2024 NFL Draft, and you could just see Zimmer's touch all over it. Bringing in rookies like Marshawn Neeland, Maris Lufau, and Kalen Carson were pure Zim moves if I ever saw one. Now, as we're gearing up for the season, we're getting a good look at his defensive playbook for 2024. With Zimmer at the helm, y'all better believe we're in for some exciting Cowboys news. Besides his trademark fiery and intense approach, Zimmer is zeroing in on the physical aspect of the game. He's got his eyes on two of the team's young defenders, and they're getting a whole lot of attention. DeMarvian Overshone's muscle gain, ever since this former Longhorn star got sidelined with an ACL tear, Cowboys fans have been buzzing about his comeback. And let me tell you, that hype is off the charts now. Word on the street this week is that Overshone has packed on nearly 15 pounds of muscle while he's been rehabbing. That's a heck of a bulk up for the young linebacker. Folks were already saying that Agent Zero was plenty muscled up back in his college days, and they ain't wrong. When he was drafting, he tipped the scales at 230 pounds. Now, he's pushing 240 to 245 pounds. With his athleticism, speed, and range, that added size is a game-changer. Now, bulking up Overshone during his recovery ain't all on Zimmer since he came on board later in the process. But it does show Zimmer's dedication to beefing up these guys. The Dallas linebacker core, even with additions like Kendricks and Lufau, still ain't top-notch. If Overshone can hit the field with this new muscle and shine, it's gonna be a huge boost. Keeping an eye on the Dallas Cowboys' latest news, it's clear this team could use all the help they can get. And Overshone, with his beefed-up frame, might just be the boost this squad needs to make some serious noise this season. Motsy Smith's puttin' on the pounds again. Well, y'all, 2023 sure was a rough one for the old 26th pick. He didn't do much on the field, lost a ton of weight, and got himself a shoulder injury that's still nagging him. But this time around, he's dead set on shaking off that bus label. With Zimmer in his corner, Motsy Smith's packing the pounds back on. Now, Zimmer's keeping mum about the exact number they're shooting for, but it's a safe bet it's more than what he played it last year. Folks been wondering why he shed so much weight in the first place, but regardless of who thought it was a good idea, it flopped big time. Smith couldn't hold his own at nose tackle without the bulk, and that's exactly what the Cowboys drafted him for. Now, Zimmer's defense needs a solid nose tackle to function right, and he figures a beefier Smith is the answer. Let's cut to the chase, the Cowboys' interior defensive line ain't exactly a powerhouse. OSA Odegizawa might be the best of the bunch, but after him, it's slim pickings. This puts our former first-rounder in a prime spot to finally show his worth. Packing on some pounds is the first step, and if he can get his game back on track, the Dallas Cowboys might just see some real production from Motsy Smith in 2024. So, keep your eyes peeled for the latest Dallas Cowboys news, folks, cause this story ain't over yet. What it all means, so, what does DeMarvian Overshone and Smith bulking up mean for the Cowboys' defense in 2024? Well, it means there's a big ol' focus on getting physical and setting players up to shine. Smith is in his prime when he's packing the same weight he carried back in his college days. And Overshone? That guy's beefing up his muscles to go along with his already top-notch skills, making him a real standout. Both these fellas got some big boots to fill, especially in their position groups. 
Coach Zimmer's dream is to turn our linebackers and defensive tackles from a weak spot into a powerhouse. These young bucks' muscle gains are stepping stones toward that goal. Now, does this guarantee they'll knock it out of the park? Well, not exactly. But it sure puts them on the right path to making a bigger impact than they could before. This season's a crucial one for Overshone and Smith, and their added heft gives us a preview of how they plan to tackle the field in 2024. Diehard Dallas Cowboys fans, hit Y4 yes and in 4 no in the comments if you're on board with Zimmer's defensive changes. All right, now let's dive into the latest Dallas Cowboys news. Y'all ain't gonna believe what the Dallas Cowboys are cooking up this offseason. They've been singing Trey Lance's praises like nobody's business. Meanwhile, there's this whole other drama with Dak Prescott's extension Ling Aaron in the background. It's a real pickle for Dallas, cause if they wanna keep Dak, they're gonna have to shell out some serious cash. Sooner or later, the Cowboys are gonna have to make Dak one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL. Just look at Jared Goff, he got paid big time, and Dak's next in line. The longer Jerry Jones waits, the more it's gonna sting his wallet. But while we're all twiddling our thumbs, Dallas can make some hay with head coach Mike McCarthy's comments about Lance. McCarthy's been all smiles talking about him. You know, he's making real progress and I couldn't be happier. The kid's got some serious athletic chops. We've been tweaking his motion a bit, McCarthy shared. He needs reps, and we're making sure he gets plenty this offseason. He's gonna play a big part in the preseason, that's the plan. We chat about it all the time. That's what we're working towards. Y'all reckon the Cowboys might send Trey Lance Packin to the Raiders? Now, the Raiders just picked up Gardner Minshew to buddy up with their main man Aiden O'Connell, who's been showing some promise lately. Antonio Pierce seems to have faith in O'Connell, and Minshew's got that season flair that could turn heads in training camp. Vegas didn't grab a rookie QB in this year's NFL draft, but if they're Hank Aaron to spice up their QB lineup, Trey Lance ain't a bad bet. Now, despite what the Cowboys are jawing about Lance, he's still a young buck, just 24, with the kind of talent that made him a top 5 pick. If someone can tap into his potential, he might just be something special. The Cowboys snagged him for a 4th round pick last September, so the price tag ain't exactly steep. Hey y'all diehard Cowboys fans, drop a Y4 yes or an N4 no in the comments if you think Trey Lance should leave the Cowboys. Dallas ain't got much reason to let Lance go unless they can get more than one pick in return. He ain't worth a day two pick right now, being so unproven. But for the Raiders, grabbing him for a couple of day three picks spread over a couple drafts could be a smart move if they're buying into the buzz from Cowboys OTAs. If the Cowboys do trade Lance, it puts the heat on Prescott, given his camp even more leverage in contract talks. This trade would make the most sense after extending Dak, which could be right around the corner. Now, imagine sitting around with your pals, talking about the latest Dallas Cowboys news and rumors, and this tidbit comes up. It's bound to get folks chattering round the campfire, that's for sure.